Hello there guys, Bulbo10000 here, bringing you a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate leak discussion video, because today we are going to be taking a look at a potential leak for a potential newcomer trailer regarding Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now before we get into that, I want to reiterate, this is a potential genuine leak spoiler. This is not a theory, this is not a BBTT video, this is not one of my general Smash Theory videos, this is a legitimate potential leak. I don't know if it's real, I don't know if it's fake, I've just seen this myself, I really wanted to cover it because it looks interesting and I am warning you now, if you don't want to potentially be spoiled, click off of this video right now and go watch someone else's video, or maybe go watch some of my Pokemon videos, they're fun, but that is your warning. So, I got linked on Twitter by a person, Benny the Benny at Twitter, and they linked me a video from Blocked Content. You guys know Blocked Content, they've got 29k subscribers, more than me, uh, and they posted a video regarding a leak that had apparently uh, come about that I hadn't heard about until literally right now, and it is a screenshot of a potential still image of a cutscene that looks like it is a Smash Brothers trailer. Now, let's take a look at it here. I'm gonna put it on screen now. This is your final warning. If you don't wanna see it, click away now. Three, two, one. All right, what are we looking at? So, right there, you can clearly see Ness standing in the bottom left, looking up at the Eldritch Abomination that is Gygus. Gygus is the final boss of Earthbound and is quite traumatic to look at, if I do say so myself, and the quality of this camera screenshot just kind of emphasizes how horrific Gygus looks, and I absolutely love how this shot is composed. The question is if it's real. So, there are a few things that I think we can see here in this image. Obviously, we have Ness down at the bottom left, we've got Gygus. To the right of Gygus, I'm trying to think, is that potentially Porky in his little robotic suit? Is that Porky in his mech there? Uh, with the little kind of talons going across Gygus? That is a genuine possibility. A lot of people are actually jumping on this leak because Porky did not get a spirit in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And of course, if you didn't get a spirit in Smash Ultimate, then there's either two outcomes for that. One, you're being saved for a little while later, maybe going to be added in post post-launch, or you're just not getting in at all, and it's really interesting how Porky, of all people, didn't get a spirit, given he is arguably the main villain of the Mother franchise. I know Gygus is the one that everyone thinks about, but Porky is the one who kind of transcended Earthbound and then went into Mother 3 as well, and he's the one that made an appearance in Super Smash Bros. Brawl as a boss fight, so instantly people are thinking, oh my god, does this confirm Porky, and if it is Porky, does this confirm that first party characters are still on board? Now, I have a few issues with this screenshot that I would like to address. Firstly, and this one may just be me, but Ness's stance. He's standing there, like, kind of like, he's got his, his hands basically kind of like on his hips, or like on his, uh, on his waist, kind of just looking up at Gygus. I feel like the character would potentially have more of a dynamic pose when facing down the literal eldritch abomination of hatred. I mean, he doesn't even have Paula there to uh, cast uh, prey. So I, I find his confidence against Gygus quite intense and a little bit unnerving, actually. Secondly, Gygus's model itself. I know that Gygus is specifically uh, quite a specific uh, looking monster from Earthbound, and there's only so many ways you can spin it, but looking at this Gygus picture, looking at this frame, it does look exceptionally similar to the Gygus's uh, models from the original games, and there is a genuine chance it could just be a photoshopped Gygus still with uh, a few effects done to kind of brighten it up and make it look like it's actually uh, on this footage, when in reality it could just be a photoshopped Gygus. And of course the uh, the dark Porky as well, uh, or potentially Porky, is uh, it's so dark you can't really see anything, which makes me wonder, 
is it just that the crew, if this is fake, is it just that the creator of this leak wanted to hide the fact that it was fake by darkening enough points on this image? And it does say not actual gameplay footage, good to know. I mean, that does show up in a lot of the character trailers. And I think this is actually interesting because if this is real, then this confirms that we are going to be getting proper character trailers for the rest of the characters in the DLC Fighter Pack roster. We got the hand-drawn anime uh, Persona 5 style opening for Joker, which kind of confirmed that he at least was getting his own special uh, trailer to go with his character. The question is, will the rest of the DLC characters get that? Because if you guys remember in Smash 4, we didn't get that much. We got Mewtwo and Lucas, and Ryu, and Corrin, and uh, aside from Corrin's little Fire Emblem moment, where he's selecting, I'm gonna go to Smash via the Fire Emblem menu, the rest of the characters, all of their trailers were basically in-engine, they weren't CG, they were just kind of uh, really fancy and well-composed shots, but they were all in engine, and I think it would be really cool to actually have these newcomers for the fighter back have their own trailers, which also, I guess, shows how important these characters are going to be, because you're not just going to give a rando uh, character from, like, a game nobody's heard of a full-on trailer, are you? So that kind of also could confirm that we're going to be seeing a lot of high-profile characters getting these trailers. Now, this doesn't necessarily confirm, though that Porky or Gygus are playable. This could be used as a way to showcase a potential boss DLC, where we could potentially be seeing Porky's boss battle come back. That, I feel, is something that I have always kind of kept on the table. I always thought that was a fairly likely thing, because obviously they brought back Gallium from Smash Brawl. They could easily just repurpose Porky's boss battle and bring that back from Brawl as well. Maybe even bring Rayquaza back and Duom as well. There are a lot of bosses from Brawl you could just bring in in this style, and it would work. But then why show Gygus? If you're just going to show Porky, that makes sense. But then Gygus is there throwing everything off, looking horrific and evil as he usually does. And it just makes you wonder, is this real or not? I genuinely don't know. My gut is saying fake, and that's simply because I have been burned by so many leaks across the years. I mean, the Grinch leak, the Rayman leak, I've been hit hard a lot, and I have learned from my mistakes, and I don't support leaks as much as I used to, so when I see this and I see, yes, it looks really convincing, but why is it not blown up yet? Why have not everybody been talking about this? That makes me wonder, has it already been disproven? Or is there something about this that people can use to disprove it? Of course, the fact that this trailer is already here when, uh, assuming it'd be shown at E3, E3 isn't for another half a month. Why on earth would they have the trailer this early? Surely they would wait at least uh, a little bit more until uh, closer to E3. And on top of that, on top of that, uh, it's going to be Nintendo who are looking after the footage. They wouldn't really need to send the Direct to anyone else. Uh, so this would have to be a leak that came straight from Nintendo, and I don't know, I don't think Nintendo would allow leaks at this point. I feel like they'd be a bit strict on the on these leaks, especially with Smash Brothers, especially with the DLC Fighter Pack, because Sakurai and his team and Nintendo probably know just how much we all want to know who the hell is going to be our next Fighter Pack. But if this is actually Porky, it completely throws any ideas at who could come next out of the window. It could completely chuck away a potential Square Web reveal at E3. It could potentially chuck away a potential Microsoft reveal at E3. And that's, that's scary. That's scary to think about. This could, if this is true, if this is real, this could completely change the landscape of Smash DLC. First party characters will be back on the table, but I think it would definitely disconfirm spirits from making a appearance as DLC. Either way, this is a really interesting screenshot, and I want to know what you guys down below think about this screenshot. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below, and let's get a debate going. So, thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow with another BBTT. Someone made a another Steve Banjo thread, and they wanted to try and discount Steve as leak bait, so I thought I'd tackle that in response to my previous BBTT video, so that should be fun. And aside from that, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening.
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.